The last piece of our single forecast fragment class is the anonymous implementation of the forecast listener interface from the read forecast task class, which we'll take a look at in a subsequent video. That object is being stored as weather forecast listener, and as you saw in the preceding video, we passed that object into our read forecast task object that we were creating into its constructor so that it could be notified when the uh, forecast was finished getting loaded. Now once the read forecast task class finishes loading the forecast, it calls the listeners on forecast loaded method which receives all of this information that we're going to display in the single forecast fragment. Now before we do anything else, at line 223, we check the single forecast fragment to see if its isAdded method returns true. And the reason we're doing this is to check whether the single forecast fragment is still on the screen by the time the weather forecast is returned back to our app. Remember, when you're doing web services calls, you don't know how long it's going to take to complete that call because it's a call out over the internet, typically. So we do a check here to see if the single forecast fragment is still on the screen, and if it's not, we simply return and don't display anything. Uh, we also check to see if the bitmap is equal to null because if we get nothing back then there's no data to display in which case we'll, we'll show a toast and then simply return. Now assuming we have this fragment on the screen and we did get data we go ahead and populate various uh, GUI components on the screen with that data. We get the activities resources object so we go to the uh, forecast fragment and call get resources which gives us back the resources object for our activity and then we're going to use that to load various strings uh, for display on the screen. We'll set the image view to the bitmap that was returned and we'll also store that in our variable condition bitmap so that when uh, the activity gets pushed to the background all of the data within this forecast fragment can be stored as well and then we set the text on the various text views. Now you'll notice that we're concatenating uh, hexadecimal notations of a couple of different characters in here. This particular hex notation is for the degree symbol which we use twice and then this other hex notation is for the percent symbol which we also use twice in our display. And then finally we hide the loading text view and at line 250 we make sure that our forecast view is displayed so we actually see the forecast on the screen.